there had a little bit of water and so we're making sure that they are packing the track in here a little bit to make sure it's in raceable condition for the rest of the hot lap groups to come out after this so now we'll turn them back loose and see if we get an improvement on the lap times we'll see if we can get a mid 13 second lap time here on this little stretch Corey Eliason now up to the 13.446 lap time. Rico, 13.428. Getting very close to that track record now, about three tenths of a second off that track record. Checkered flag waves, and now Corey Eliason back to the top, 13.340. Well, race fans, we're about a tenth and a half off of the existing Southern Oklahoma Speedway track record. Brad Sweet now the fastest at 13, 256, 13256. Corey Elias in second in car number eight, 13274. Parker Price Miller in 9P at 13427. Rico Abreu in 24 at 13428. And Spencer Baston is fifth in car number five at 13445. So about a tenth and a half off the track record set by Aaron Reitzel on June 11, 2020, 13.109 is the lap time we're looking for. Behind the top five in that session, Chris Windham in car number 55 was a 13.516, the final driver in that session. The next group of Dirt Draft Hot Lappers make their way onto the racetrack right now. They are led out by the DJ of the night. You'll be listening to his music here tonight at Southern Oklahoma Speedway during the race program. It is Tanner Thorson, the driver out of Minden, Nevada, now living in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, driving the Smith Titanium Factory Cane, Maximum Race Oil, Massey Valley Transportation, Hall of Vodka, Rod Gross Motorsports, number eight, or 88, that is Tanner Thorson. And next to him on the front straightaway of Apollo, Pennsylvania, the Mercedes Motorsports, Ducani of Pittsburgh, Diesel Property Management, Mad Motorsports number 42, it's Cy Lynch. Cy Lynch in car number 42. Getting fired off now on the front stretch out of Hanover, Pennsylvania, the Pell's Tire Service, RF Knox Company, the Auto Barn, Weinbrenner Motor Service, Lawrence's Body Shop number 1A, that's Jacob Allen. Jacob Allen in car number 1A. And behind him, out of Enum Claw, Washington, the Casey Kane Race with Mike Kerr, Brumos Collection, Factory Kane Shocks, Kane Screen Print number nine, it's Casey Kane. Casey Kane in car number nine. In the middle of turns one and two, out of Angola, Indiana, the Sun Dollar Restoration, Ford Performance, Sage Fruit, Race Redeem Foundation, Hager Realty, number 26 of Zeb Wise. Zeb Wise in car number 26. And the current points leader with Kubota Highlander Racing. Out of Indianapolis, Indiana, the NOS Energy Drink, Elliott's Custom Trailers and Carts, number 7BC of Tyler Courtney. Tyler Courtney in car number 7BC. Green flag comes out. Dirt draft. Hot lap session number two. Time's coming across now, 13.799. Tanner Thorson, the best so far in this session. Casey Kane now a 13.797. And Zeb Wise, 13.619. And Tyler Courtney, the fastest we've seen so far tonight, 13.202. And we are now just under a tenth of a second off of the track record. 13.187 is the lap time set by your current Kubota Highlander Racing points leader, the 7BC of Tyler Courtney. 13.187. Jacob Allen second quick in that group at 13.399. Zeb Wise third quick at 13.420. Tanner Thorson 13.456. Casey Kane 13.502. And Cy Lynch at 13.540.
Next group of cars rolling onto the racetrack now. Hot lap session number three here in Dirt Draft Hot Laps, led out by the driver to Claiborne, Texas, the Taco Casa, KH Suspension, Pro One Safety and Race Products, Fox Drywall, Best Deal Services, number 01J, it's Jeb Sessoms. Jeb Sessoms in car number 01J. And next to him, out of Sepulpa, Oklahoma, the same day auto repair, Tire Pros, SDAR trucking number $9, it's Kyle Clark. Kyle Clark in car number $9. And the winner of the last two Kubota Highlander racing events out of Clovis, California, the Sander Engineering, Four Seas Construction, Autry Plumbing, Sincal, Driven to Save Lives, number 14, it's Corey Day. Corey Day in car number 14. And from Lubbock, Texas, the High Plains Building Division, Carbon Safety Technologies, Lubbock Wrecker, Five Nights Truck Accessories, ShopTruckParts.com, number one of Brenham Crouch. Brenham Crouch in car number one. Pushing off next to him out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, the Sigard Engine Oil, Hample Oil, Mystic Lubricants, Western Flyer Express, Deathridge Optical, number 5T, it's Ryan Timms. Ryan Timms in the 5T. And final car in this session out of Monrovia, Indiana, the Avanti Windows and Doors, Big Spring Car Wash, Water Treatment by Design, RKL Paving, number 13, it's Justin Peck. Justin Peck in car number 13. Those are the drivers in Dirt Draft Hot Lap Session number three, and they get the signal over the one-way communication device that we are ready to throw the green flag. And let's see if we can get just a little bit closer to that track record. Fastest so far is Tyler Courtney, 13, 187. There's Justin Peck, one of the few drivers that was here during that all-star race in 2020, was sixth in that main event back in that year. And there is Ryan Timms making his Southern Oklahoma Speedway debut. Four wins this year between midgets and 360 wing sprint cars. Fastest lap we see so far in this session, 13.445 by that guy right there, Corey Day in car number 14. Checkered flag is waving several drivers in the 13.4 second bracket here in this one. Ryan Timms now takes over the top spot. As I say that, Justin Peck goes by at 13.343. Fastest in hot lap session number three. Driving car number 13, it's Justin Peck at 13.343. Corey Day in car number 14, 13.358. Ryan Timms at 13.436. And Brenham Crouch at 13.486. Followed by Jeb Sessoms at 14-191, and Kyle Clark at 14-257. One more group of cars set to come onto the racetrack here for Dirt Draft Hot Laps. And then we'll jump right into Capital Custom Trailers qualifying, where we will see if we can break that track record of 13.109 seconds set back in 2020. Next group of cars making their way onto the racetrack here in turn number four. And they are going to be led out by the driver at a Calera, Oklahoma. That's the Oklahoma Truck Driving Academy, LS Construction and Roofing, High Plains Building Division, Victory Fuel, DRC Legacy Foundation, number 88R of Ryder LaPlante. Ryder LaPlante in the 88R. And rolling next to him... From Sepulpa, Oklahoma, the Aces Up Sim Sports, Smiley's Race Products, Glenn Steyer's Racing, CSR Garage, number 52, it's Blake Hahn. Blake Hahn in car number 52. Also on the front stretch now, he was third place with the All-Stars here in 2020 out of Fresno, California. The Red Rose Transportation, Selzy Enterprises, Redline Oil, Whipple Industries, number 41, Dominic Selzy. Dominic Selzy in car number 41. And from Norman, Oklahoma, the David Grace Motorsports Arc Wrecking, number 1J, Danny Jennings. Danny Jennings in the 1J. Getting fired off now, coming across the flag stand out of Myerstown, Pennsylvania, the M&M Painting and Construction, McGrewBid.com, Baps Paint, Livewire Customs, number 19, it's Brent Marks. Brent Marks in car number 19. 
in the final driver in this session out of Alice Springs, Northern Territories, Australia. The Mobile One Toyota Racing Development, Roth Enterprises, HR Livestock Transportation, number 83 of James McFadden. James McFadden in car number 83. Six more cars set to go here in Dirt Draft. Hot lap session number four. After this, we'll jump right into Capital Custom Trailer qualifying. Still the fastest time we've seen so far tonight. 13, 187, set by your current Kubota High Limit Racing points leader, Tyler Courtney. Green flag comes out. Dirt Draft, hot lap session number four. There was Blake Hahn, you saw him on your screen. He was 20th with the All-Stars here back in 2020. So a little bit of Southern Oklahoma Speedway experience for car number 52. And there is Dominic Sells. He led a lot of laps in that main event that we saw earlier on during this Flow Racing broadcast. He finished third in that feature. Brent Marks finds us back into the 13.1 second bracket, 13.196. Checkered flag is coming out this time by. Nobody able to get even close to that time set by Brent Marks. So checkered flag comes out. Marks 13196, the fastest in group number four. James McFadden 13543. Then Dominic Selzy 13821. Blake Hahn 13902. Ryder the Plant 14372. And Danny Jennings 14695. So Tyler Courtney's lap, the fastest in dirt draft hot laps at 13.187. Next up will be Capital Custom Trailers and Coaches Qualifying. Capital Renegade is the number one Renegade Toter Home dealer and the number one Intech trailer dealer. No one sells more Toter Homes or Intech trailers than Capital Renegade Custom Trailers and Coaches. If you're in the market for a Toter Home or a trailer, trust the people that are in the pits with you and that support the sport. Check out their complete lineup at CapitalRenegade.com. Getting ready to send off our first car here in Capital Custom Trailers qualifying. Tony LaPorta, I see he's hanging out down there in the infield. What do you think so far of this place? These guys are flying around Southern Oklahoma Speedway. Well, Chase, the biggest thing I keep thinking about, I'm, I'm down here over by turns one and two where we started the show up there on top. I mean, and when you're at the top of that banking over there, you got to be probably at least 10 feet above the bottom of the track where we are over here. I'm reminded of what Anthony Macri said when we went to Red Dirt Raceway in Meeker, Oklahoma. He said, when I go to a track I've never been to for the first time the best way to learn how to find out where the line is is to push the car as hard as possible so yeah we're down here right now watching these drivers through hot laps try to find that line and find that edge because if you go over it here in turn one or over there in turns three and four you're tipping that right rear tire over the top of the racetrack here and man after that it's anybody's guess what happens so big fan of this place i think it's going to be very technical Absolutely agree with you on all fronts there, Tony, as we head to Capital Custom Trailers qualifying. First driver out of the Speedway to Visalia, California, the Commercial Edge, NDT, New Direction Transport, b &L Holdings, Elliott's Custom Trailers, number eight, it's Corey Eliason. Corey Eliason and Carnival right way out of the groove in turn number four, gets the green flag this time by. Corey, one of the very few drivers in the field tonight that has experience here at Southern Oklahoma Speedway. He was fourth with the All-Star Circuit of Champions here in 2020. Lap number one for Corey Elias is going to be 13 2 2 2 1 3 2 2 2. Good lap for Corey on lap number one. Comes into the night sitting 12th in the current Kubota High Level Racing Point standings. Lap number two is a new track record 13 0 3 3. First car of the racetrack, new track record, Corey Elias. Next on to the speedway at Kokomo, Indiana. Chalk sticks, torsion bars, town line variety. Indy race parts, high performance lubricants number 9P. It's Parker Price Miller. Parker Price Miller in car number 9P. PPM makes his Southern Oklahoma Speedway debut here tonight. He was fourth at the Red Dirt Raceway on Tuesday night. Ties the best finish he's had so far this season. Lap number one is a 13-380, 1-3-3-8-0. 
The law firm comes in tonight, eighth in the overall Kubota Highland Racing point standings. Whoa, a little bit of a mistake right there off of turn number four. And he's going to go a little bit slower. 13, 5, 2, 4. 1, 3, 5, 2, 4. First lap better. 13, 3, 8, 0. So Parker Price Miller will exit stage right. How about that? Kicking things off with a track record. The first driver out with 13, 0, 3, 3. Now let's see if we can get to the 12 second bracket here. From Grass Valley, California, the Casey Kane Race Wheel, Mike Curb, Knopp Auto Parts, Brumos Collection, Max Bar Race Wheels, number 49. Here's the big cat, Brad Sweet. Brad Sweet in car number 49. Sweet gets the green flag in his Southern Oklahoma Speedway debut here tonight. Currently second in the point standings with Kubota Highland Racing, one of just two drivers with top tens in every main event so far this season. Lap number one is a 13.140, second quick, 13.140. Sweet comes in tonight off an eighth place finish at the Red Dirt Raceway on Tuesday night. Lap number two for Brad Sweet is better. 13 104. 1 3 104. Still second quick for car number 49. Up next, out of Lebanon, Indiana, the True Timber Camo, Nice Crete, Landis Block, JRC Transportation, High Performance Lubricants, number five. Here's Spencer Baston. Spencer Baston in car number five. Baston takes the green flag here tonight in his Southern Oklahoma Speedway debut, currently seventh in Kubota Highland Racing point standings. They are absolutely getting after it down on this end of the speedway. Here he comes to the first lap, and it's going to be third quick at 13, 131, 13, 131. Based in 12th Tuesday night at the Red Dirt Raceway in, in uh, Meeker, Oklahoma. Lap number two for Spencer Baston is a new track record. 13, 0, 1, 0, 1, 3, 0, 1, 0. Spencer Baston to the top of the speed charts. From Canton, Illinois, it's the NASA Energy Drink, Zip Bonds, TK Concrete, Logan Contractor Supply, Elliott's Custom Trailers, number 55. Here's Chris Windham. Chris Windham in car number 55. Windham, ooh, a little bit of a mistake right there. Coming off a of turn number two, gathers it back in and keeps on going. Windham, 15th, currently in Kubota Highland Racing point standings. He comes across the line for lap number one. It's a 13-695, 13-695. Wyndham 17th at the Red Dirt Raceway in Meeker, Oklahoma on Tuesday night. Lap number two is going to be better. It's up to fourth quick at 13-3-0-0, 1-3-3-0-0. From St. Helena, California, the Rico Abreu Curb, Agajanian Racing, Abreu Vineyards, Rothwell Hyde, Missy Valley Transportation, Lucas Oil number 24. Here's Rico Abreu. Rico Abreu in car number 24. Rico takes the green flag. Oh, it's getting a little bit rough down there in turn number one, nearly clipped the wall in the middle of one and two. This is gonna be a throwaway lap, no doubt, for car number 24. First time by is a 14.112, 14.112. Rico comes in the night seventh in the point standings. He was also seventh at Red Dirt Raceway on Tuesday night. Lap number two for Rico Abreu is going to be up to fourth quick at 13-164, 13-164. From Apollo, Pennsylvania, here's the Mercedes Motorsports, Ducati of Pittsburgh, Diesel Property Management, Mav Motorsports number 42. The driver is Cy Lynch. Cy Lynch in car number 42. Lap one for Cy Lynch is going to be seventh quick. It's going to be a... Don't have the time quite yet on my end over here, waiting for that to come across our timing screen. Oh, sorry, I was a lap ahead of myself. He's coming to the first lap this time by. It's a 13-483, 13-483. Cy Lynch, last, or two nights ago at Red Dirt, 16th in the feature event. He was 13th at RPM, the best of his Highlander racing events this year. He's six quick on lap two at 13-376, 13-376. For car number 42, Cy Lynch. From Enum Claw, Washington, the Casey Kane race with Mike Kerr, Bruno's collection, factory Kane shocks, Kane screen print number nine. Here's Casey Kane. Casey Kane in car number nine. 
Coming to the green flag that time by for Casey Kane. He was here back in 2020 with the All-Star Circuit of Champions, finished 14th in that feature event. Casey hauling it into turns three and four off the top of turn number four, the white flag. Lap one's a 13-389, 1-3-389. Casey comes in tonight 13th in the overall point standings with Kubota High Level Racing, was ninth at Red Dirt Raceway on Tuesday night. Lap two is better. How about fifth quick? 13, 256, 1, 3, 2, 5, 6. Fifth quick for Casey Kane. The DJ of the night here with High Lemma Racing out of Minden, Nevada, now living in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. The Smith Titanium Factory Kane, Max Moreso, Massey Valley Transportation, Hall of Vodka, Ron Gross Motorsports, number 88. It's Tanner Thorson. Tanner Thorson in car number 88. Thorson getting his first look at Southern Oklahoma Speedway here tonight. Currently 11th in the overall point standings. He'll come around to the first lap this time by, and it is going to be ninth quick at 13 4 4 6. 1 3 4 4 6. Tanner Thorson the other night at Red Dirt was 14th in the main event. Lap number two for Tanner Thorson is better at seventh quick at 13 3 62. 1 3 3 6 2 for Tanner Thorson. The driver currently scored fifth in the overall point standings out of Hanover, Pennsylvania, the Powell's Tire Service, RF Knox Company, the Auto Barn, Weinbrenner Motor Service, Lawrence's Body Shop, number 1A. Here's Jacob Allen. Jacob Allen in car number 1A. Lap one for Jake, or sorry, taking the green flag that time by for Jacob Allen. Had a tough night at Red Dirt, got uh, an in, into an incident during the heat race, had to come out of the B main or had to use a provisional 25th to 13th in the feature at Red Dirt. He's going to be seventh quick on lap one at 13.333. As we mentioned, Jacob Allen fifth in the point standings, did get a win with the series already at Golden Isle Speedway in Georgia. Lap number two is a little bit slower at 13.368. He'll take the first one at 13.333. From Angola, Indiana, the Sun Dollar Restoration Ford Performance Sage Fruit Race Reading Foundation number 26. Here's Zeb Wise. Zeb Wise in the 26. Zeb was here during the All Star Circuit of Champions visit in 2020. He finished in the eighth position in that main event. Zeb coming off a 19th place run at the Red Dirt Race, but after starting on the pole that feature, he is going to be eighth quick on lap one at 13.336. 13336. Zeb Wise, ninth in Kubota Highland Racing Point standings entering this event. And lap number two, he's going to be six quick at 13.286. 13.286. The current points leader with Kubota Highland Racing is on the racetrack now out of Indianapolis, Indiana. The NOS Energy Drink, Elliott's Custom Trailers and Carts, number 7BC of Tyler Courtney. Tyler Courtney in car number 7BC. Tyler Courtney, the fastest driver earlier on during dirt draft hot laps, has a little mistake in turn number one there, nearly blew it over the edge of the banking. Lap one for Sunshine is going to be 12 quick at 13.165, 13.165. Car looked a little bit tight down there in turns number one and two. He was second the other night at Red Dirt Raceway. Lap number two is going to be a little bit better, but he's still 12th quick, the slowest of the 12 cars so far at 13.416 for your points leader, Tyler Courtney. From Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, the Sitgard Engine Oil, Hample Oil, Mystic Lubricants, Western Flyer Express, Death Ridge Optical, number 5T, this is Ryan Timms. Ryan Timms in the 5T. Tim's into turn number one tonight, his Southern Oklahoma Speedway debut. Already has four wins in 2024, split between midgets and 360 wing sprint cars. Lap one for Ryan Tim's is going to be 13th quick at 13.690, 13.690. Did not make the feature at Red Dirt Raceway on Tuesday night, but he was 11th at RPM on Sunday. Lap number two is going to be better, still 13th quick, however, at 13.678, 13.678. Out of 
of Sepulpa, Oklahoma. The same day auto repair tire pros, SDAR trucking entry. It's the $9 of Kyle Clark. Kyle Clark in the $9. Kyle Clark to the green flag. Made his High Lemon Racing debut on Tuesday night at Red Dirt Raceway. Was not able to make the feature that night. He was here with the All-Stars back in 2020. Finished 15th in that feature event. Lap one for Kyle Clark, 14.176, 14.176. Kyle Clark, 14th of the Power I-410 series of the Texas Motor Speedway dirt track in Fort Worth. On lap two, he's faster at 14.040, 14.040. From Claiborne, Texas, the Taco Casa, KH Suspension, Pro One Safety and Race Products, Fox Drywall, Best Deal Services, number 01J. This is Jeb Sessoms. Jeb Sessoms in the 01J. Sessoms coming across the line to take the green flag. He has raced here before at the Southern Oklahoma Speedway. Finished 10th in a 305 with the Texas Sprint Series here back in 2022. Lap one for Jeb is a 14.435, 14.435. Best finish this year in a 410 was an eighth with the ASCS Elite Outlaw Series at Hunt County in Texas for Jeb Sessoms. Lap two is better at 14.175. 14.175, 15th quick for Jeff Sessoms in 01J. Out of Monrovia, Indiana, here's the Avanti windows and doors, big spring car wash, water treatment by design, coastalraceparts.com, number 13, it's Justin Peck. Justin Peck in the 13. Justin Peck. Decent run here with the All-Stars in 2020. Finished sixth in that feature event. Pack coming across the line for lap number one. This time will be 13th quick at 13.479. 1-4-1-3-4-7-9. Justin Peck is 10th in Kubota Highland Racing point standings. He was fifth at the Red Dirt Raceway on Tuesday night after winning the BA. Lap two, he'll jump up to 12th quick at 13.408. 1-3-4-0-8 for Justin Peck in car number 13. The winner of the last two main events with Kubota High Limit Racing on the Speedway now to Clovis, California, Sander Engineering, Four Seas Construction, Autry Plumbing, Sincal, driven to save lives, number 14. Here's Corey Day. Corey Day in car number 14. Corey Day getting his first look at Southern Oklahoma Speedway here tonight. The winner of the last two main events, lap number one for Corey Day, is eighth quick at 13.331, 13.331. Comes into this evening's action, third overall in the point standings with Kubota Highland Racing. Lap number two for Corey Day is fifth quick, 13.174, 13.174. Good lap for Corey Day, fifth quick in car number 14. From Lubbock, Texas, this is the High Plains Building Division, Carbon Safety Technologies, Lubbock Record, Five Nights Truck Accessories, ShopTruckParts.com. Number one, it's Brenham Crouch. Brenham Crouch in car number one. Brenham Crouch has been here in the past at the Southern Oklahoma Speedway. Did not qualify for the feature with the Texas Sprint Series here in 2021. 16th on lap one at 14.009, 14.009 for Brenham Crouch on lap one. Crouch 14th in points, he was 15th at Red Dirt on Tuesday. Lap number two, he's gonna go better at 13.740, 13.740. That's 16th quick for Brenham Crouch. Out of Norman, Oklahoma, the David Grace Motorsports arc wrecking number 1J, it's Danny Jennings. Danny Jennings in the 1J. Danny Jennings, a former NCRA winner here with the 410 under the hood back in 2018. Has been doing this stuff for a very, very long time in the Oklahoma, Texas area. Lap number one for Danny Jennings, 14869. 14869 for car number 1J. Danny Jennings making his High Limit Racing debut here this evening. 
and lap number two for Danny Jennings is better. It's a 14 457. 1 4 4 5 7 for car number 1J. From Myerstown, Pennsylvania, the Eminem Painting and Construction, the GrewBid.com, Babs Paint, Livewire Custom, number 19. The driver is Brent Marks. Brent Marks in car number 19. Marks takes the green, a little hop, skip, and a jump down into turn number one, nearly clipped the wall on the exit or on the entry to turn number two there. Brent Marks coming off of turn number four for lap number one. It's going to be ninth quick at 13, 316. 1 3, 3 1 6. A little bit more of a conservative approach entering turn number one now. Let's see if this lap has any more speed for the number 19 car. Lap two, it is six quick at 13, 2, 1, 5. 1, 3, 2, 1, 5, six quick for Brent Marks. So Spencer based in fastest so far with a new track record at 13-0-1-0. Corey Eliason second, Brad Sweet third, Rico Abreu fourth, and Corey Day in fifth. Next up from Calera, Oklahoma, the Oklahoma Truck Driving Academy, Ellis Construction and Roofing, High Plains Building Division, Victory Fuel, DRC Legacy Foundation, 88R, it's Ryder LaPlante. Ryder LaPlante in the 88R. LaPlante, the young driver from right here in Oklahoma, getting his feet wet here in the 410s in 2024. A little bit sideways and a wheelie off the fourth corner right there. Lap number one's a 14 to 648, 1 4, 6 4 8. LaPlante 18th here with the Texas Sprint Series 305s in 2022. Coming across the line to complete his qualifying effort. It's going to be better. It's up to 20th quick at 13.392, for the 88R of Ryder LaPlante. From Fresno, California, the Red Rose Transportation, Selzy Enterprises, Redline Oil, Whipple Industries, number 41. Here's Dominic Selzy. Dominic Selzy in the 41. Dominic Selzy led a lot of laps in the All-Star Main Event here in 2020. Finished third in that feature event. A little bit crossed up in turns one and two right there. Was really hyping up this race. Very excited to get here to Southern Oklahoma Speedway. Lap number one is going to be 17th, 18th quick, excuse me. And a 14-018, 1-4-0-1-8. Dominic Selzy going to slam the cushion off of turn number four. And lap number two is going to be better. It's still 18th quick at 13, 941. 1 3, 9, 4, 1, 18th quick for Dominic Selzy. From Alice Springs, Northern Territories, Australia, the Mobile One Toyota Racing Development, Roth Enterprises, HR Livestock, Transportation number 83. Here's James McFadden. James McFadden in car number 83. McFadden, another minute, one of the many drivers getting his first look at Southern Oklahoma Speedway here tonight for the very first time. Three races so far with Kubota Highlander Racing in 2024, all of them resulting in top tens. Lap one, 16th quick at 13,567, 1,3,5,6,7. McFadden, 10th at the Red Dirt Raceway on Tuesday night after starting back in the 15th position. Lap number two is going to be better. 16th quick at 13,430. 1-3-4-3-0. And the final qualifier of the night rolls onto the speedway now. Out of Sepulpa, Oklahoma, the Aces of Sim Sports, Smiley's Race Products, Glenn Styers Racing, CSR Garage, number 52, it's Blake Hahn. Blake Hahn in car number 52. Blake Hahn was 20th with the All-Stars here back in 2020. Gets to the cushion on the exit of turn number four, and lap number one results in a 21st place effort at 14.141. Look out off the racetrack in turn number two, and he'll head right back to the pit area. That'll do it for Blake Hahn. 14.141, he was 21st quickest overall. How about it, race fans? A new track record tonight for a 410 wing sprint car. 13.010 for car number five, Spencer Baston.
Based in quick time in car number five, Corey Eliason finishes up in second. Brad Sweet ends up in the third spot. Fourth was Rico Abreu. Fifth was Corey Day. Sixth was Brent Marks in car number 19. Seventh was Casey Kane in car number nine. Eighth, Zeb Wise. Ninth, Chris Windham. And tenth, Jacob Allen. As we get a look at home on Flow Racing at Spencer Baston's new track record lap time here at Southern Oklahoma. No bobbles right there. I think this lap number two was actually even better. Actually, that was the good lap. Sorry about that. As it looked like... Uh, he got through three and four extremely smoothly as compared to the rest of the cars that were out there for qualifying. Now we got a lot of great events coming up here with Kubota High Limit Racing. And if you're watching at home, you can get your tickets to those upcoming events right there by scanning that QR code on your screen. The next event tomorrow night, Salina High Bank Speedway in Pryor, Oklahoma. Then we're back on Tuesday, Riverside International Speedway for race number two of the Midweek Money Series over there in West Memphis, Arkansas. Let's take a quick break here on Flow Racing. Come back. We've got factory stocks ready to hit the racetrack for their hot lap sessions right after this. And you're watching High Limit Racing on Flow Racing. comes to Magneto Ignition Performance, there's only one name that you can trust, and that's BR Motorsports Ignitioneering. Servicing the racing industry for over 30 years, our state-of-the-art Magneto Dyno Test Lab facility is equipped with the most technically advanced equipment available. And that's why crew chiefs like Paul Silva and Philip Dietz choose BR for all their ignition needs. To learn more, visit us at brpromag.com. Capital Custom Trailers and Coaches. We are the number one Renegade Toter Home dealer and the number one Intech and Bravo Sprint Car Trailer dealer. No one sells more Toter Homes and Sprint Car Trailers than we do. Check out our complete lineup at CapitalRenegade.com. If you're in the market for a Toter Home or a trailer, trust the people that are in the pits with you and that support the sport. Your best days of the year start here at Kubota Orange Days. It's the year's biggest selection of Kubota tractors, zero-turn mowers, and utility vehicles, including the number one selling compact tractor in the USA. Plus the year's best deals, like 0% APR for 84 months or up to $3,300 off select compact tractors. Orange goes all day. Sales ending soon. Visit your local dealer today. Find your nearest dealer at KubotaOrangedays.com. Welcome back, race fans. This is the voice of Southern Oklahoma Speedway, Jake Keel, here ready to bring you your hobby stock event tonight. We have 21 entries in the hobby stock division here at Southern Oklahoma Speedway. A few of them look like this in the number 32 tonight. The 32 Triple X, that's bottom Texas driver Mitchell Clement right behind him in the number 99. That will be the driver from Denison, Texas of Aubrey Spears. In the number 40 machine tonight, that'll be the number 40 X from Bing, Oklahoma of Jerry Enzi. Right behind them in the number 66 from Rainlet, Oklahoma, that is Kobe Adams. Kobe Adams in the number 66. In the number five machine from Geronimo, Oklahoma, that is Dustin Sutherland. Dustin Sutherland in that number five machine. And in the number 10H, excuse me, the number 10M from Marietta, Oklahoma, that is William Miller. William Miller in the number 10M. In the number 90B, that will be Blaine Blaine Brown, excuse me, from Ardmore, Oklahoma, with the number 162 of, of the 621, excuse me, from Medill, Oklahoma. That is David Hodeback. 
in the number 62 machine. That is Dustin Choate. Dustin Choate from Forney, Texas. And right in front of him is the number 38 from Jane, from Ardmore, Oklahoma. That is James York. James York in the number 38. Factory Stocks, one of our weekly classes here at Southern Oklahoma Speedway. Varying from anywhere from 20 to 30 of these weekly and quite a track. We've got quite a few talented racers in this division. We do battle each and every week here at Southern Oklahoma Speedway. One of the drivers we did not get to there, the number 99, that was Amy Henderson with the number 98 of Chris Davis as well on the racing surface with the 123 of Brett Jensen. It looks like we have a few more stacked and packed and ready to go. And that is from Ardmore, Oklahoma, the number 136, that is Chief Bordeaux, Chief Bordeaux in the 136 machine. Right behind him in the number 3G, that will be Grant Ratcliffe. In the number 22C, that is Richard George Jr. And right, right behind Richard in the number 14, that is Billy Vest. Rounding out this one, multi-time A feature winner here. Driver, the number seven, Hayden Hamilton. As the green flag flies, we are underway with another hot lap session. Chief Bordeaux right there on screen, picked up his first A feature win of the year last week at Southern Oklahoma Speedway, holding off the number 22C of Cody Boatwright. Chief Bordeaux, a multi-time champion here at Southern Oklahoma Speedway. One car getting a little bit loose there. That is the number 22 of Richard George Jr. Richard George Jr. getting sideways coming out of turn number four, but he collects it and keeps it going. As the checkered flag flies, it looks like we have one more car in the staging lane. We want to thank each and every one of you for joining us here in Ardmore, Oklahoma. A great crowd here at Southern Oklahoma Speedway, the greatest show in the 580. You can see great racing action here each and every week with our IMCA divisions in the modified sport mods, eco mods, IMCA stock cars, and hobby stocks. Got a great schedule of racing coming this season. One last driver on the racing surface. That is the number 28. That is the number 28G. Do not have a, num a name on that one right now, but we will get that before the lineups are set tonight. As as the hot lap sessions are over, I'm gonna kick it back to my buddy here over in the announce booth, Mr. Chase, take it away. Thank you very much. As we are going to take a quick break here on Flow Racing, when we come back, it should be time for opening ceremonies here at the High Limit Hustle at Southern Oklahoma Speedway with Kubota High Limit Racing.
This broadcast is brought to you by DMI and BR Motorsports, along with Comp Cams. You are looking live at Southern Oklahoma Speedway for the High Limit Hustle here in Ardmore, Oklahoma for round number eight of Kubota High Limit Racing. Well, race fans, it is that time of the night where we ask you to please rise as Jake Keel will offer tonight's invocation. Let us pray. Lord, we want to thank you for giving us today and letting us let us be able to do everything that we would love to do here tonight. We want to thank you for putting us in this country where we are free and we get to enjoy opportunities such as tonight. We want to lay your hand over each and every one of us here at the racetrack today, including our drivers, our crew members, our track officials, and our fans. We know a lot of you have come from far away to be here with us tonight, and we want to make sure everyone is here, gets home tonight safe. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you very much, Jake, and please remain standing for the playing of the National Anthem. Well, race fans, it is Friday night here in Ardmore, Oklahoma. It's the High Limit Hustle, and it's time to go all in with Kubota High Limit Racing. It is now heat race time here at Southern Oklahoma Speedway with Kubota High Limit Racing at the High Limit Hustle. Heat race number one brought to you by TJ Forge Wheels, which was started by Taylor TJ Well to build the best no compromises Forge Wheels for high performance motorsports. We only build it forged aluminum wheels using proprietary tooling and exclusive manufacturing processes that clearly elevate our wheels above the competition. Product quality, product safety, and exceptional customer service is what we do. We lead where others follow. Don't settle for close enough. 
TJ Forged. Here is the lineup for TJ Forged, heat race number one. On the pole out of St. Helena, California, the Rico Abreu, Kerbag, Ajanian Racing, Abreu Vineyards, Rothwell Hyde, Missy Valley Transportation, Lucas Oil, number 24 of Rico Abreu. And outside of him, from Enum Claw, Washington, the Case Kane Race with Mike Kerr, Brumos Collection, Factory Kane Shocks, Kane Screen Print, number nine, it's Casey Kane. Inside of row number two, out of Hanover, Pennsylvania, the Pell's Tire Service, RF Knox Company, the Auto Barn, Weinbrenner Motor Service, Lawrence's Body Shop, number 1A of Jacob Allen. And outside of him, he's the new track record holder at the Southern Oklahoma Speedway from Lebanon, Indiana. The True Timber Camo, Nice Crete and Landis Block, JRC Transportation, High Performance Lubricants, number, not, number five, it's Spencer Baston. Row three on the inside, out of Kokomo, Indiana, the Chalkstick Torsion Bars, Town Line Variety, Indy Race Parts, High Performance Lubricants, number 9P, Parker Price Miller. And outside of him, from Alice Springs, Northern Territories, Australia, the Mobile One Toyota Racing Development, Roth Enterprises, HR Livestock Transportation, number 83, of James McFadden. And your fourth row on the inside out of Fresno, California, the Red Rose Transportation, Selzy Enterprises, Redline Oil, Whipple Industries, number 41, Dominic Selzy. And your final starter from Claiborne, Texas, the Taco Casa, KH Suspension, Pro One Safety and Race Products, Fox Drywall, Best Deal Services, number 01J, it's Jeb Sessoms. So eight cars going for eight laps in TJ Ford's heat race number one. The winner and the fastest qualifier to finish inside the top six will go to tonight's dash. With 24 cars and three heat races, we will just have six cars in tonight's dash redraw instead of the uh, normal eight but uh, we will still have our spin wheel down there to lighten things up a little bit, make it a little bit more interesting as we've got a couple more cars ready to make their way onto the racetrack before we get cars fired off. And we'll take this time to now show you the or play you the first song from Tanner Thorson's High Roller Playlist. She's an Oklahoma smoke show. He's an asshole from back home. She'll never make it out alive. Little Zach Bryan, he's like the next big thing, or he is the big thing going on right now with Oklahoma Smoke Show. If you're watching home on Flow, you can scan that QR code all night long, and it takes you right to the Spotify playlist for all of the drivers that we have had so far have a playlist. Tomorrow night, it'll be Spencer based in the new track record holder here at the Southern Oklahoma Speedway. He will be the high roller playlist driver tomorrow night at Salina High Bank Speedway in Pryor, Oklahoma, about three and a half hours up the road. Scraping off the wall in turn number two, and once we do that, we will make sure to get cars underway for the first heat race of the night here for TJ Forge heat race number one. Looking at the upcoming schedule here for Kubota High Lama Racing, like I mentioned already, prior Oklahoma tomorrow night, Slime the High Bank Speedway here in Oklahoma. Then we make up a race at the Riverside International Speedway in West Memphis, Arkansas on the 23rd, Tuesday the 23rd. That's the second week or the second race of the midweek money series. Then we have another mid Week Money Series event. That's on May 1st, a Wednesday at the 81 Speedway, the Kansas Clash up there in Park City, Kansas. Then two nights of action, May 3rd and 4th at Lakeside Speedway, Heartland of America Shootout in conjunction with NASCAR Weekend up there at the Kansas Speedway. May 10th, 34 Raceway in West Burlington, Iowa. May 11th, Tri-City Speedway in Illinois and another Midweek Money Series event. This one a lot of people looking forward to on May 13th at the Kokomo Speedway in Kokomo, Indiana. If you want to get tickets to any of those races right there, you scan that QR code, and it'll take you right to HighLimitRacing.com to get your tickets to any of the upcoming events here in 2024. Cars are now fired off and getting ready to get behind the HendrickCars.com pace truck before we turn them loose here in TJ Ford's heat race number one. It'll be Rico Abreu and Casey Kane from the front row. Jacob Allen and Spencer Baston in row number two. Parker Price Miller and James McFadden in row number three. And then Dominic Selzy, Jeb Sessoms, your field. So all Spencer Baston has to do here tonight is finish inside the top six. And he will be heading to the spin wheel dash redraw. And along with whoever wins this heat race, Rico Abreu on the front row next to Casey Kane. 
Lights are out on top of the HendrickCars.com page truck. We're going green next time by for the first competitive action with wing 410s here at Southern Oklahoma Speedway in four years. Here we go to the chop stripe. Chalk stripe in turn number four. Not a very good start for Rico Avery. Somehow gets back going down the front straightaway. Slides in front of Casey Kane. And Rico's got the lead, but not for long. Casey Kane crosses to the inside, and he's got the lead down into turn number three. Casey Kane off of turn number four, trying to maintain the race lead. He will have it. Maybe some contact down the front straightaway between himself and Rico Abreu. Abreu runs the bottom in turn number one and two. Casey Kane, momentum down the back straightaway. Side by side for the top spot. Racing for a dash position with High Limit Racing off of turn number four. Who's going to have it at the line? Looks like Casey Kane just barely across the start finish line. Casey Kane and Rico Abreu putting on a show for the fans here in heat race number one at Southern Oklahoma Speedway. Rico runs the bottom. Bottom, Kane off the top side, side by side down the front stretch once again. Good action at the front of the field. Abreu's got the spot now. Carcass, it's a little bit tight in the middle of one and two, but he's got the lead clear down the back straightaway. James McFadden from sixth to third in car number 83. He's made his way up nicely through the field. Spencer Baston runs in fourth, Jacob Allen in fifth, then Parker Price Miller and the number 41 of Dominic Selzy with Jeb Sessoms rounding out the field. Remember, everybody going to make the show here tonight with 24 cars. They will all be a part of the starting lineup in tonight's 30-lap feature event. Rico still searching around a little bit right now at the front of the field, trying to find the best way around the Southern Oklahoma Speedway in car number 24. We talked about at the top of the broadcast that the track right before hot laps was soupy, it was wet, it was sloppy down on the inside of the speedway. You could tell that there's still a ton of grip on the very bottom of the racetrack in three and four, especially off of turn number four right now. Here's the white flag in TJ Ford's heat race number one. Back straightaway for the final time in the Mesilla Valley Transportation. Rothwell High, Lucas Oil number 24. Rico Abreu is going to get the win in TJ Ford's heat race number one. Casey Kane second, James McFadden third. Spencer Baston fourth, Jacob Allen fifth. Parker Price Miller, then Dominic Selzy, and then Jeb Sessoms rounding out the field. So with the win and heading off to the dash, driving car number 24, it's Rico Abreu. Finishing second, Casey Kane in car number nine. Third of the 83, it's James McFadden. Finishing fourth and also going to the dash is number five, Spencer Baston. And in fifth, it's Jacob Allen, followed by Parker Price Miller, Dominic Selzy, and Jeb Sessoms in 0-1-J. Luckily for those guys, they will all be a part of tonight's feature after a tough run in that TJ Ford's heat race. Rico Aber going to make his way down the front straightaway as a heat race winner looking for his second top five of the season and his first win of 2024 here tonight with Kubota High Limit Racing. And he's going to stop on the front straightaway to have a word with Tony Laporta. Rico Abreu comes to a stop after picking up the win there in TJ Ford's heat race number one. Rico, when we got here this afternoon, Ricky Warner and the rest of your crew guys were sitting up there on the top of the back straightaway taking a look at this racetrack. You've never raced here before, so how do you set up a car for a place you've never been to before? Uh, definitely just rely on experience from guys like Ricky, and um, hopefully, you know, they, they can bring some of that data over the years they've brought uh, to similar racetracks like this. So uh, my car feels pretty decent. Just... Looking forward to putting a solid good night together. That's Rico Abreu, your winner of TJ Forge Heat Race number one. Next up is DMI Racing Components Heat Race number two. DMI components are built with the precision of skilled machinists and the common sense of winning racers. Located in the heart of central Pennsylvania, you can find us every week participating in the sport we love. You race, we race. How about we race together? DMI. He raced number two. Lineup looks like this. On the pole, the winner of the last two features with Kubota High Limit Racing. He's third in the point standings out of Clovis, California. The Sander Engineering, Four Seas Construction, Autry Plumbing, Sencal, driven to save lives, number 14 of Corey Day. Outside of him, in Angola, Indiana, the Sun Dollar Restoration, Ford Performance, Sage Fruit, Race Redeem Foundation, Hager Realty, number 26 of Zeb Wise. We're number two on the inside. Out of Minden, Nevada, now living in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. The Smith Titanium, Factory Kane, Maximal Racewheel, Messiah Valley Transportation, Hall of Vodka, Rod Gross Motorsports, number 88 of Tanner Thorson. And outside of him, out of Visalia, California, the Commercial Edge, NDT, New Direction Transport, b Holdings, Elliott's Custom Trailers, Ridge Development, number 8, Corey Eliason. Row 3, out of 
Monrovia, Indiana, the Vaunty Windows and Doors, Big Spring Car Wash, Water Treatment by Design, Coastal Race Parts.com, number 13 to Justin Peck. And outside of him from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, the Sick Guard Engine Oil, Hample Oil, Mystic Lubricants, Western Flyer Express, Death Ridge Optical, number 5T, Ryan Timms. Row 4 out of Sepulpa, Oklahoma, the same day auto repair, Tire Pros, SDAR Trucking, number 9, Dollar Kyle Clark. And your final starter to Calera, Oklahoma, the Oklahoma Truck Driving Academy, LS Construction and Roofing, High Plains Building Division, Victory Fuel, number 88R of Ryder LaPlante. Plant. Once again, eight cars, eight laps. All of them going to the feature. The winner and the fastest transfer, the fastest qualifier, I should say, to finish in the top six. We'll head off to the dash. This guy, our high roller playlist driver tonight, Tanner Thorson. He's in this heat race. Let's listen to another song from his playlist right now. That is Modest Mouse with Float On from Tanner Thorson's High Roller Playlist. Tony. Chase, that's a great song, but Tanner Thorson is the last person I would ever associate with a band called Modest Mouse. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Uh, that uh, that band name, is. that's probably the only song that Modest Mouse ever had that was ever good, if I had to think about it. I have never heard another song from them ever again. Uh, but, hey, they had one banger, and that's all that counts, man. As we head to the green flag here in DMI Race Components Heat Race number two, Corey Day and Zeb Wise. Three wide in the middle of the field right there for that third spot as Corey Eliason makes a move. Actually, Justin Peck's the guy making the move. He goes from fifth to the third position on the opening lap. Corey Eliason, big move to get by him in the turn number three. Slides across the nose. Three wide again with Ryan Timms now in the middle. Timms up to fourth and now looking at Justin Peck for the third spot. Ryan Timms has got this place figured out. He's up to third and challenging Zeb Wise now for second. Ryan Timms in car number 5T is feeling froggy here in this one. Turns it down the racetrack, down the front straightaway. To the inside of the Union Racing number 26. Zeb Wise shuts the door on him entering turn number 1. Timms looks outside, now looks inside. Cannot get by the number 26 for now. Corey Day comes around this time by three in and five to go in DMI. Heat race number 2. Zeb Wise second, Timms in third, Peck is fourth, and Tanner Thorson in fifth. Corey Day looking strong out front right now, looking for the hat trick here tonight. I think he can win three Highlander Racing events in a row. Tanner Thorson back into the mix now, catching back up to Justin Peck and Ryan Timms. Thorson, a little mistake right there, gets tied on the cushion and turns one and two. So you got Corey Day on the bottom, Peck on the bottom, and then Wise, Timms, and Thorson on the top in turns three and four. Zeb Wise closing back in on your race leader, Corey Day down the back straightaway. The race for the dash spot, not over yet here in DMI, heat race number two. Here's the white flag, actually two to go this time by for Corey Day. Two laps to go, and Zeb Wise in his back pocket as they work down the back straightaway. Wise knows he's gonna go to the bottom right there. He's gotta try the top side to get by the number 14 car. This time by the line, Zeb Wise, big move around the outside to take the race lead away. Zeb Wise, what a move, threading the needle right there is behind him. Ryan Timms trips over the cushion and Justin Peck goes by. Checkered flag this time by and Zeb Wise with a daring move around the outside is going to get the win. Corey Day second, Justin Peck third, Ryan Timms fourth and Tanner Thorson ends up in fifth. How about that high-flying action right there from the 26 of Zeb Wise? He will get the win and go to the dash. Corey Day finishes in second, Justin Peck in third. Fourth went to Ryan Timms. Fifth went to Tanner Thorson, and sixth went to Corey Elias, and he will go to the dash with Zeb Wise. Right of the plant seventh, Kyle Clark will finish in the eighth position in DMI heat race number two. Well, Zeb Wise, after a crazy move around the outside, a bold move, if you will, to take the lead away and make his way into tonight's dash. Going to have a quick chat with our buddy Tony Laporta in the infield. I would absolutely say that was a bold move, but I want to find out what the driver from Angola, Indiana, has to say about that move. All right, Zeb, you went around the outside of the guy who's won the last two races with us. So how would you describe your pass for the race lead and the win here in the heat? Yeah, it was pretty much a must to win that heat race. Um, didn't really qualify where we wanted to and knew that was a pretty much must win there to get in the dash. So, oh, this place is demanding. You got to hustle this thing around here, but uh, really happy with how this thing feels and we'll see how we go in the dash.
big time players make big time plays. Zeb Wise knew it was a must win chase, and that's exactly what he did in DMI Heat Race number two. He said, You got to hustle. This is the high limit hustle tonight at Southern Oklahoma Speedway. Heat Race number three brought to you by BR Motorsports. When it comes to buying sprint car parts, there's only one place to shop, and that is BR Motorsports. With over 250,000 parts in stock, BR Motorsports only sells the best parts by the best manufacturers like King Racing Products, MSD Ignition, Kaiser Wheels, and Triple X Chassis. To find out more, visit BR Motorsports. Com and don't forget to request a free copy of the new 300-page Super Parts catalog. Let's take a look at the lineup for BR Motorsports Heat Race number three. On the pull out of Myerstown, Pennsylvania, the M&M Painting and Construction, thegroupbid.com. Livewire Custom, Customs, Baps Paint number 19, it's Brent Marks. Outside of him from Canton, Illinois, the NOS Energy Drink, Zip Bonds, TK Concrete, Logan Contractor Supply, Elliott's Custom Trailers number 55, a Chris Windham. Row two on the inside. Out of Apollo, Pennsylvania, the Mercedes Motorsports, Ducati of Pittsburgh, Diesel Property Management, Mav Motorsports number 42, it's Cy Lynch. And outside of him, Currently second in Highlander Racing point standings. Out of Grass Valley, California, the Casey Kane Race with Mike Curb, Napa Auto Parts, Brumos Collection, Maximum Race Wheels number 49 is Brad Sweet. And in row number three, it's the current Kubota Highlander Racing points leader. Out of Indianapolis, Indiana, the NOS Energy Drink, Lance Custom Trailers and Carts number 7 BC of Tyler Courtney. Outside of him, from Lubbock, Texas, the High Plains Growing Division, Carbon Safety Technologies, Lubbock Record number one of Brenham Crouch. And in row four, in car number 52 out of Sepulpa, Oklahoma, the Aces Up Sim Sports, Smiley's Race Products, Glenn Styers Racing, CSR Garage Entry of Blake Hahn, and your final starter out of Norman, Oklahoma, that is the David Grace Motorsports Arc Wrecking number 1J of Danny Jennings. Another song from Tanner Thorson's High Roller Playlist coming at you. Another great song there from Tanner Thorson's playlist as we are ready to go in BR Motorsports Heat Race number three, HendrickCars.com. Pace truck pulls into the infield. Brent Marks and Chris Windham to the line in turn number four. Here we go. Brent Marks jumps out to the early race lead in car number 19. Chris Windham running in second early in this one as Tyler Courtney tries to fight his way forward after a poor qualifying effort earlier on this afternoon. Tyler Courtney now to the rear bumper of his closest championship ride with that being Brad Sweet as they work down the front straightaway. Sweet goes to the top side. Courtney down to the bottom. He's followed by the number one of Brenham Crouch. Sweet gets a big run on Cy Lynch as they work down the back straightaway. Lynch goes to the inside of the racetrack, slides up the banking right in front of Brad Sweet, who has to get out of the gas right there to not run into the back of the Apollo Pennsylvania driver. Cy Lynch really nailed the bar, the middle of the racetrack right there in one and two, able to put a little bit of distance between himself and the five-time World of Outlaws champion. Now Brad Sweet tries to run the bottom, can't get there to the inside of Cy Lynch, looks back to the outside in turn one. Good race going on for this third spot right now. Tyler Courtney trying to make it a three-car battle as Brad Sweet makes a big move to the inside in turn number three. Throws a slider at Cy Lynch. Now here comes Tyler Courtney. Cy Lynch back to the inside of Brad Sweet. Three-car battle for the third spot as they work through one and two. Brad Sweet, does he do it again down in turn number three? Looks underneath the 42 of Cy Lynch. Rolls the bottom this time. Cy Lynch with momentum has that spot down the front straightaway. Tyler Courtney trying to get involved, trying to go to the inside of his closest championship rival, Brad Sweet, as they work down the back straightaway. Sweet must have saw his nose right there. Courtney goes to the top side. Might go by both of them, and he does. Tyler Courtney took for the price of one in turn number four. Wowzers, the 7BC looking really good on the cushion in turns three and four. White flag is out for Brent Marks. Chris Windham still in second. Tyler Courtney with a great move to get up to that third spot. Cy Lynch in fourth, Brad Sweet in fifth, and sixth is Brenham Crouch. Checkered flag is out a dominating win in heat race number three. Goes to the 19 of Brent Marks. Second to Chris Windham, third to Courtney, fourth to Lynch, and fifth to Sweet. Your finishing order in BR Motorsports heat race number three, the 19 of Brent Marks gets the win. Second to the 55 of Chris Windham, third to the 7 BC of Tyler Courtney, fourth to the 42 of Cy Lynch, fifth to the 49 of Brad Sweet, then Brenham Crouch, Blake Hahn, Danny Jennings. Sweet and Marks will head to tonight's 
dash, but the thing that everybody's going to be talking about after that one there, Tony, is a crazy move, maybe even a bolder move than Zeb Wise's in the last heat race. Tyler Courtney going fifth to third in one quarter. This is just a bold type of night I think we have here with Kubota High Limit Racing. Tyler Courtney, I don't know if he would describe himself as bold, but that move we saw you put over there in three and four on Cy Lynch and Brad Sweet. You had to be cooking that up for quite a while. What is working right now with this number seven BC to allow you to go over there and do stuff like that? Oh, I think I'm still qualifying, so I have to make up for that. Um, yeah, just a couple of really, really bad laps on my part to, to kind of bury us, but that should get us uh, up a couple rows for the feature. But yeah, my guys um, work really hard for, for me to, to come out here and uh, do my job, and I just didn't do it in qualifying. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll make some more changes and uh, hopefully put this not in a drink because uh, the trailer 7BC back uh, where it needs to be. He started fifth. He went around the outside of both Brad Sweet and Cy Lynch to end up third in BR Motorsports Heat Race number three, Chase. That was a very fun race to watch. I mean, all three heat races here tonight, the battle between Kane and Abreu in heat one, uh, the move from Zeb Wise. Here's the move from Tyler Courtney right here, going by two cars in one corner. I'm surprised the vinyl is still on the right side wing board for Cy Lynch. I thought he would have peeled it right off the side when he made that move there. Uh, and then the other move was Zeb Wise uh, taking the win away in heat race number two. Great action in the heat. Right, Dean? That was pretty good, right? Great, great action in the heat races. Jake Keel, we've got uh, factory stocks rolling onto the racetrack right now for their heat races. Let's turn it over to you. Thank you, Chase. We've got our Southern Oklahoma Speedway factory stocks here tonight, and it's going to look like this. In the number 99 S from Denison, Texas, starting on the pole, that will be Aubrey Spears with the number 621 from Medill, Oklahoma. That is David Hodebeck. In the 62 C from Forney, Texas, that will be Dustin Choate with the number 99 from Hilton, Oklahoma of Amy Henderson. Inside row number three in the number 66 from Ranlett, Oklahoma, that will be Kobe Adams with the number 28G from Ardmore. That's Michael Wingate. Rounding out this one in the seventh and final spot, that will be the number 10M from Marietta, Oklahoma. That is William Miller. Seven cars, six laps, the scheduled distance. Caution light is out. We're going to go racing this time by. Aubrey Spears will set the pace out of turn number four. Green flag in the air. We are racing into turn number one. Three wide momentarily for second already as Michael Wingate making a huge move up into the second spot. He's going to go for it all out of turn number two. We have David Hodebeck leading out of turn number two. Some movement back through the field. The battle for third is heating up with Dustin Choate on the inside. Kobe Adams on the outside. Aubrey Spears peeking back through the middle. David Hodebeck will lead lap number one. Kobe Adams going to move up in that third spot. He's got Dustin Choate staying right down on the bottom. They're going to go door to door off turn number two. But here comes Michael Wingate. Wingate looking for the lead down into turn number three. Can he make it happen? We are door to door off turn number four. David Hodebeck going to hold on right now as they head down into turn number one, but Michael Wingate not letting him go. That is your battle for the lead. It's now Kobe Adams starting to make up some ground. He's going to try to make it a three-car gaggle for the race lead as they head through three and four. Michael Wingate trying that bottom side hard right now as he just cannot get past the 621 of Hodebeck. Hodebeck still holding strong on the outside, but Michael Wingate making a move. We're about to go three wide down the back stretch for the race lead. Kobe Adams peeking down to the bottom. The momentum will not hold as Wingate will make the pass as we come to two to go. You can throw a blanket over the top four. Dustin Choate trying to make a move into that top three as we've got one slow car in front of them. That is Amy Henderson in the number 99. That will play a factor into the race for this lead is now Kobe Adams moving down to the bottom. He's trying to make a move for second. The lap car throwing a pick here is now. Here comes David Hodebeck back to second. White flag is out. One more trip around as we've got a three car battle for second now as Amy Henderson will go around on the entry entry of turn two. Henderson trying to keep it going. We should stay green as they come back around to the checkered flag. It is Michael Wingate picking up the win. David Hodebeck will finish second. Then it will be Dustin Choate 
in the third spot. Looks like Kobe Adams will come home in the fourth position.